Hello friends, welcome to my channel Click to Express. Today we'll be discussing on stories, bookmarks and snapshots. So let's understand what are those. So bookmarks are created so that the user can save the selection and preserve the state so that it can be later shared with the other people uh, in the team. Okay. So uh, it's in few of the companies they don't allow you to share the bookmark with the different end users for a security purpose but in few company they do share it based on their requirement snapshots are nothing but taking a taking of small picture or a cap capturing a particular type of data the snapshots are stored in a binary format and can only be used or can only be uh, you know acquired by story creation so story are a small gathering of insights of a dashboard which you have recreated it so let's see how this can be done so i have a small dashboard over here which shows me some of runs uh, some of runs of uh, particular uh, few players and the descri uh, uh, description of some of a uh, few more of the data okay so suppose i want to make a selection on this say it like i want to keep this selection maybe like i have selected five players so the five players and i want to keep this selection and save it in my bookmark so how to do it so if you go here here you will see a bookmark option so it is uh, click sense february version so um, in other uh, version also you will see a small story uh, box will also be here but the, uh, in this version they have you know uh, upgraded it to a new tab or a new section inside of um, inside clicksense here itself so you you will no more see a story section over here but you ha still have the bookmark section over here so if you click on it and if you want to create a bookmark you can click on this i'm just naming it as bookmark hyphen 1 okay so i'm just saving this so now i have a bookmark with this name so now if i close it and suppose i uh, if i go back to the selection i have cleared everything now so i have a if you go back to the bookmark here you can see and if i take that that selection will be available now there was a question from one of the user say it like suppose tomorrow he wants to add few more data in this bookmark for example he wants to select this okay so they, he has reduced the data or he can clear everything and he wanted to other five players or so he wanted to add this kind of data in the previous bookmark selection yes obviously you can do it you can make the cut particular selection you want to do okay and then go back to the bookmark right click the bookmark and apply the selection the moment you do that you will see that the selection got applied to it so now if, even if i remove this selection and select the bookmark again so you will have the selection again over here okay so now let's move to the next thing that is but nothing but a snapshot okay so i want to take few snapshot maybe of this i'll take three snapshot of three different charts so it's not necessary that you should take the entire chart you can take particular selection make some particular selection and you know can create a snapshot out of it so for me i'm just taking a snapshot of all these three things so i'm making this snapshot as as an a p s h o t hyphen bar okay i'm just saving it now i am taking a snapshot of this one maybe like i am making few selection here and then i am taking a snapshot of it okay so i'm going here making a selection and taking a snapshot giving it name as s n a p s h o t snapshot hyphen pie chart okay you can give any any name as per your requirement the next one i am making a selection you can make as as your own wish i am not making any selection over here i'm giving this as a s n a p s it's an ap shot snapshot hyphen area chart okay that's all so i have three three snapshots with me so now how to create story out of it so as i told you in the earlier version you have a small box over here which will ask you to create a story or it will ask you to move to the story 
whereas if you go to the app overview you have the three things over here sheets bookmarks and stories so suppose i have created a bookmark that bookmark will be available over here stories if you want to create you can very well go here create a new story okay otherwise if you are in a page okay so suppose you are in a page and you want to create a story you can obviously move it from here also okay so i'm going here so it's a slide you are taking okay fine no problem we can take another slide not a problem so now if i go here and i want if you go here you will see the snapshots which you would have collected okay <coughs> sorry so now let's take one by one snapshot just drag and drop over here so basically it will create a kind of uh, you know small uh, architect of uh, of the data which you can obviously present it so now suppose i am taking these snapshot which i have already created with me i'm just pulling this data resizing it obviously you can make your own uh, charts also so suppose i am making this so these are the three things which i wanted to take with me and suppose i wanted to show it in this manner fine so now i want to give a title to it fine then i can give a title to it also you go here take a title pull it from there and write it here as double click it and write it say it like as an ap as a snapshot for cric cricket data okay so something like that so obviously you can go here add a paragraph also behind the same way you can write a small paragraph here go down write a small paragraph hello friends see check out my s n a p s snapshot s n a p s h s snapshot s n a p i'm very sorry for the spelling snapshot created here okay so that's my snapshot obviously you can change the color select this data change it to bold if you want if you want to change the color you can change it based on your requirement okay so i'm changing the color to say it as dark green okay so this is my data obviously you can add one more slide over here based on you know what you call this this plus sign if you take it this will add one more sheet so suppose in this sheet i want to add few more data Uh, say it like I want to add this some chart. Okay, so I have a chart over here also, just to show you how to, you know, add few things. Okay, so now suppose you want to highlight the data. Obviously, you can take a you know what you call symbol and use it. From us, it is not required. So suppose you want to highlight a data, lowest to highest, add any values. Obviously, you can mark it based on your requirement. Okay. suppose i am taking this as rahul dravid okay and suppose let it be like this i don't want to change anything obviously you want to mark let's go to the first page it looks better than this so obviously i can go take the um, value of any of this uh, requirement and obviously you can check that and you know take take that value as it is fine so this is just nothing but it is adding a highlight a highlighter in your data okay maximum value lowest value generally based on your requirement you use it for us this is not required so what i'm doing is control z okay fine so i'm just deleting it okay very sorry for that yeah so it went away so now suppose you have made you you don't want to take it as a uh, as a snapshot because snapshot are static values it doesn't change based on your react uh, on your requirement suppose you want to add a dynamic data how to do it go here in the sheet library so what it will do is it will ask you to which sheet you want to take the data so suppose you want to take the entire sheet data so now what is happening this entire sheet is available with you okay so now this sheet is available with you now it is based on the real time data so now whatever the data gets changed tomorrow okay so that data will be available over here so you can obviously uh, minimize maximize this 
okay so you can put it inside take a take a one uh, take one what you call title and push it over here uh, and write something so all those things you can do it so i'm not doing anything of that sort what i'm doing is i want to keep this sheet in the center okay the second thing what you can do is you can share the bookmarks also so how to share a bookmark let's let me show you so for that i'm deleting this page for me it is not required what i need is i'll just first delete this page also i'll take a bookmark and make a addition of that sheet okay so let's go to that go to my data okay so sorry i have to go to my analysis so this is my data i have created a bookmark okay so in that bookmark what i am i have to do is i'll just select the bookmark okay so this is my bookmark okay now go to the story okay so you have selected the bookmark now go to the story and then you go to sheet library add the sheet so now what is happening now your sheet is getting selected based on your bookmark okay okay so i think there is some problem with my system uh, it got hanged just one minute huh? just trying to you know yeah so see it got hanged actually so very sorry for this i'll delete one by one yeah so what i'll do is i'm going to add a new sheet okay so anyways i have already added it so what i'm going to do is i i have that selection available with me so you can obviously see in the blur image that the based on the bookmark the selection is appearing over here so what going to happen here is so the bookmark selection is available with your story and the stories gets transferred so in few of the companies as i already told you is what, what going to happen uh they don't allow you to share the bookmarks that comes under security violation but in few companies they do allow it but you can obviously share your bookmark based on your stories so suppose i have created that bookmark and i am i am creating based on that i have uh, i have taken that sheet which consists of that bookmark now i have this with me so so what i'll going to do is i'll just save this i'll go back to the application overview so now you can see in my story section this is my sheet section bookmark section and in my story section that story is already created okay so now you can go to that story okay so this story okay second page is let me delete it so this first and the second sheet so here you can see that bookmark is available we want to see what is the date like how it is previewing you can go here and see the ppt is creating in this fashion okay obviously you can go to the first page second page okay so this is how you create a what you call see the um, what you call the bookmark is being captured over here okay so if you want to reset the selection you can go here reset the selection like how you if you want to select some data and then you want to go back and reset the selection it will go back to the bookmark Uh, selection what it was initially having if you want to go back to your initial sheet you can click this and you can go back to the sheet okay you can obviously clear this data okay and if you go if you want to go back to the story obviously you can go back to the story and then reset the selection it will again take the selection of your bookmarks sorry okay so basically you can share your bookmarks on a uh, on a real time basis or uh, more logical and more secured basis is through stories okay thank you for watching this video have a nice day please subscribe my videos for latest updates